Well, good morning, guys. How's everybody doing today? I hope everyone is faring well as winter starts to become spring here. As my birthday also vastly approaches. I am going to be 44 at the end of this month. I can't believe that. But anyway, today's video is just going to be a quick little chat. Um, in my last video, I had mentioned that I did not have a way to heat water for bathing or to cook because the problem with the LP, with the gas, propane flowing into the Defiant. And I thought about that video and then I said to myself, darling, there's probably someone or a bunch of someone who are a little bit concerned about exactly how are you managing? How are you faring? How are you able to take care of yourself and uh, yourself in this regard? And so I thought I'd do this quick little video just to let you guys know exactly how I'm able to take care of those things. So let me just get it out there right away. My kerosene heater is the key to it all, guys. It was gifted to me by two wonderful women my friends, Kat and Lisa. I got it when I was working for Home Depot in Catonsville, Maryland. It was my first winter. And um, I was camping out in the parking lot of the Home Depot. And these two benevolent, kind souls bought this heater for me. And it's been a godsend ever since. Um, it is multi-purpose and multifunctional. And just as a side note, when you live in a small space, you're very conscious of what you bring on board and the fact that it needs to be multi-purpose because you just don't want to crowd your tiny space with a lot of things. So having this kerosene heater definitely has been, um, yeah, God said. So anyway, I can heat up water on top of this wide metal surface. So I'm able to use that for bathing process takes a little bit longer of course you know performing my ablutions that way but you know I'm, I'm on sabbatical boo I ain't got nothing else to do okay <laughs> anyway also <laughs> I cracked myself up <coughs> also <clears throat> if I lift if I raise the wick on the inside of the heater I can actually cook on that same metal surface too. I can I can't uh, fry or saute anything because it just doesn't get hot enough to to do anything like that. And trust me, my ass is happy that I can't fry or saute anything. But as far as reheating or boiling anything, definitely. I've boiled eggs on there. I've made soup from scratch on there. Um, tons of ramen. And uh, yeah, so I'm able to cook that way. And then my diet itself kind of lends it itself to not having refrigeration as well. I eat a mostly pescatarian diet, lots of fruits and vegetables, seafood and eggs. Mm, sometimes I will eat chicken and turkey and I'd say at least twice a year, I just get a damn hankering for a burger. And I will go and find me a burger. <laughs> and I do that because I want to keep those enzymes alive in my digestive system. I really don't want there to ever be a case where what stands between me and hunger is some arbitrary dietary restriction that I've chosen. So I want to be able to still eat chicken, you know, or use uh, chicken broth in my soup base and Damn it, when I want a mushroom Swiss burger, I'm going to have one. But anyway, um, I eat a lot of dried fruits and nuts, um, a lot of fresh vegetables. You'd be surprised at how much uh, you can just throw into a raw application. And it just, it takes on a whole new different dimension when it comes to your veggies. So, you know, I'm doing all right, guys. I'm faring pretty well. I'm looking at this video and it's almost at five minutes. So I said it was brief. I should wrap it up right now. Hold on. Sip of water. Trying to stave off any sort of dehydration that I'm dealing with here. 
But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it alleviated any concerns that any of you guys may have had about how I am managing and taking care of myself. Um, and if you like this video, and I know you did, you know you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can stay on top of all the goings on and the doings of Defiantly Darling and the Defiant. And um, I love all of you guys. Thank you so much for all of your continued support. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.